Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Limitless Lauren. Taylor and I are going to be working on making a DIY dog ramp for little Archie over here. Come here. Sit. He does not like to use the doggy door. Uh, when we bought this house, it already had a doggy door installed, which was awesome. But Archie did not want to use it. Um, it's a little bit higher off the ground. Here is what it looks like on the outside. And they just had cinder blocks kind of building up to it, but it was really wobbly and he did not feel comfortable going down it because he's a big dog. He's like 65 pounds. Uh, he needs something more durable. So Taylor and I went to Home Depot tonight and got wood and got it cut. You can get wood cut there. It's very easy to do and it's like 25 cents per cut or something like that. And they always have this dolly and it's like full of 70% off wood. So we found some clearance wood as well. So I'm just going to take you through the process of how we're going to build it. And Archie, you better use it or I'm going to be very sad. <laughs> so here's our wood. Now these two pieces we're going to put together and this is going to be the ramp down. Um, he's measuring to cut pieces to go across as support beams for the ramp and to be able to connect them both together. Over here we have the legs. Um, we have an extra one over there, but four legs. Uh, so these two on. pieces over here are the ones that he's gonna walk out on yeah, and then go out. down the ramp. So what Taylor was just cutting was the support beams. So now he's going to measure them on there and we are going to screw them in. Nail. Nail? Yeah. Nail. Nail them in. So we have three supporting beams, each one on the end is 12 inches from the ends, and then Taylor is now mounting the middle piece, which is exactly center in line. between both, center line. It's a nice little table too. That's true level, bitch. We are testing it outside. Taylor had to cut a little bit to uh, make up for the step here. So he's attaching another piece on top to be able to connect the ramp onto. added a scrap piece of wood just to make a little barrier so we don't fall off. We are done for the night. Roomba is cleaning up all of the wood chips and we will get back at it tomorrow. We are back at it this morning and we are now finishing up the little guard that goes around the base. So he's cutting off this to adhere to that. So this is what it looks like before the sanding and stain. But I'm gonna wait for it to warm up a little bit because it is so cold out here. So when, when we moved in, we realized that the dingbats who lived here before us or whoever installed this, installed it backwards. So we gotta flip it around. We're gonna amend the situation. Yeah, we're gonna fix so it. So we're not getting... We don't want no 
crazy rabbit animals coming in here. <laughs> they had the lock door on the outside. All right, we're gonna have to fully replace the dog door. Uh, Taylor is about to go pick a new one up. They sealed that thing to it. Yeah, they sealed it real good. To and the it. Point where you couldn't get the screws out, and you had to like break the thing off the thing without breaking the wood. But unfortunately, that didn't happen. But it's not too bad. Can you put it back yeah, on there? Yeah, I'm just gonna staple it straight down. Okay. We'll... All right, here is our new dog door. Same brand, but it's a little bit upgraded of a look. So Taylor is working on installing it now. Okay, we're gonna test out the doggy door. It's ready to go. I had Taylor pick up some dog treats to help entice him to go through it. Archie, out this way, through the door. Come on, yes. Good boy! Now you can go down here. No, 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 this way, this way. No, 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 no! Uh, Archie, up here. Get back in there. Good boy. So I got the dog ramp all sanded. Now what Taylor is doing is we are gonna mount these slats down the ramp. Archie attempted to go up the ramp and had no traction whatsoever. So we're gonna mount them, what, nine inches apart you said? And we also got this safety walk and it's a textured grip that we're gonna put on there as well just to give him even more traction. And this is the stain that we decided on, special a walnut. So I'll be staining this after he's done attaching the slats. We added the grippers and he is now comfortable to go up and down. All right, Archie, come down. Good boy. Okay, back up, back up. Good boy. Do you like your dog ramp? Oh, I'm so happy to finally be done with this thing. These were definitely the winner to help grip his paws. Even with the slats, it wasn't enough, but <laughs> he thinks I'm getting a treat. Uh, but these were good. Good grippers. I'll link them below. They were like, it was $12 for a big roll from Home Depot. And that's a wrap on the DIY dog ramp. It's gonna take some time for Archie to get used to going in and out because he's so used to us letting him in and out through this door. But he'll get there. Uh, I'm so happy with the way it turned out. It looks so nice. It's very sturdy and durable. We will also be treating the wood with polyurethane, but we don't have it right now. <laughs> we have to go buy it. That will help seal the wood, help it be water resistant, scratch proof, stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, we will probably be doing that another day. And hopefully you guys enjoyed watching the process of Taylor and I building it. But other than that, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye. But wait, before you go, I'll miss you so, so please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Ooh.